In this little video, we look at the intended learning outcomes for our session. But I just wanted to say about the woman in the photograph. She was my great aunt, whom I didn't know at all. Uh, but she happened to be the midwife that delivered Lord Bertrand Russell's son. And when I was studying to be a priest and had to do a third of my studies in philosophy, it was Bertrand Russell's materials that I had to focus on for a modern day philosopher. And another brief story from those priestly study days, one of the main lectures I had for teaching philosophy, whenever he was grappling with words, he wasn't sure what to say. He'd bang his teeth together like, and he'd eat all nuggets, as if he had something in his brain that he wanted to get out, didn't know the words, so it was all nuggets. So feel free to talk nuggets on this course. And the last brief story I want to say to you was about one of the other philosophy lecturers. When he finished his uh, first degree in philosophy, his mother was so proud of him. Uh, she was walking down the street with him one day and they bumped into a friend of hers. And she said, go on, son, speak some philosophy to her as if it was a special or a different language. And now here we are on to the um, intended learning outcomes for this session. You'll notice that epistemology and ontology is going to run right throughout your thinking as we do these studies for your, uh, for your masters and for people doing doctoral degrees as well. So first of all, to critically explore some of the meanings of epistemology and ontology, but especially in relation to health and social care research. And secondly, to interpret and relate various systems and theories of thought around epistemologies and ontologies, um, in particular in relation to multi-professional healthcare practice, research and learning. And the final learning outcome is to examine and challenge ways of the often taken for granted notions around words like truth or normal or natural especially ways in which they can impact negatively on people um, in health and social care research and practice.